Okay, a little top tips video whilst I'm uh, working on the hallway here and the landing. Um, most of the rest of the house we strip with a wallpaper stripper, uh, which is a steamer, and that's uh, an easy way to go. And it comes off pretty quickly. Problem is, some of our walls are a bit fragile, the lime plaster, and that can cause the lime plaster to blow off the walls. Um, also, if you haven't got a steamer, you need to find something else. Um, and what you can use is a wallpaper stripper, it's loads of different brands, um, which kind of breaks down the glue and you spray it onto the wallpaper. Or you could use a roller or something. Um, and I've obviously run out of that. So, trawling through the web, I found the, uh, the tip of using fabric conditioner. Um, I guess any brand will do. So it's just a Tesco's one, and I didn't really look at dilution rates, I just put a good kind of glug in. And when I first did the whole wall, I used a five litre sprayer. Worked really well, I could spray the ceiling down. And I sprayed it, left it for a couple of minutes, went back, sprayed it again. And then on the third time I sprayed it, and then after a minute, everything just either pulled off or I could just scrape it off really easily. Um, what that's left me with is a few little bits on the walls which I want to get rid of before plastering. So I've just used an old kitchen uh, spray bottle with hot water and some more of the good stuff. And hopefully that will allow me to just go around, give these a little spray, anywhere where I can see some left on the wall. And just after a minute or so then I can go around scrape those bits off and we're all done. So there's your little top tip, just shows you don't have to have fancy tools for everything. A bit of fabric conditioner or even a dish soap will probably do the job. Pretty much, that lime plaster is cold and pretty much dry, which is perfect. Because it means we haven't damaged that at all. 